Now I'm going to run the command. Docker system prune. So this command will give you a warning telling like this will remove all the stopped containers, all networks which are not used by at least one containers, all the dangling images. So dangling images are the one which are not yet associated with any of the containers and all the build cache. So if you give yes. So okay, as of now, I don't have any stopped container. I don't have a dangling images and all. So it is zero. So let's say if you have any dangling image or any containers and all, it will delete those. Now I am going to list Docker images. So uh, as of now, I just have Ubuntu and Hello World image. Now I want to pull one more image. Let me pull a CentOS image. Docker pull CentOS. So these images, first they will check inside our local um, machine, local setup. If it's not there, then it is going to the Docker Hub and fetching it. Now if I run Docker images, I get three images. Similarly, for Docker PS, my Ubuntu is up and running. The Ubuntu container is up and running. So this is the reason I am getting Ubuntu container as uh, only, only one container that is Ubuntu. As of now, I have not created a container out of CentOS. Docker PS FNA will give all the active and non active container details. So I'll go back to my slide, and this these two are the useful links. So, first one is to install Docker from the binaries. If you go to this documentation page of Docker, you get to see uh, various um, Docker installation uh, in various platforms such as Linux, Mac, Windows and all. The second one is your step-by-step -step installation of Docker on AWS instance which we are going through as of now but if you want to know more details you can uh, refer this link. The next slide is Docker images. So Docker image is a file comprised of multiple layers used to execute code in a docker container so we have already uh, we already know how do we run a docker image how do we pull a docker image how do we list docker images dangling image explanation i have already explained to you that it is an image which um, associated with the containers and one more thing is if you want, let's say if you feel like you forgot the command and you're feeling, facing some difficulty uh, with the image command or any of the Docker command. So the best way is you can type docker images hyphen 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 help. So this will give all the possible flags. So if you type docker images hyphen a, this will give all the image list of images hyphen f will add up the filters half and q will just give you the um, ids of your image okay hope you people are clear now let me go to the next slide which is docker container so docker container is nothing but a runtime instance of a docker image so if you want to list out the docker containers we give the command docker ps if you want to run a docker container or create a container out of that image we give docker run and the image name when we want to start a container we give the command docker start container name and if you want to stop it we give docker stop container name uh, so let me just create a container out of CentOS machine so for that i'll run a command call as docker run CentOS okay now if you go to uh docker ps hyphen a a will start active and inactive one so you can list you can see my centos container also but if i want to go inside my container i have a flag called as hyphen it which is an interactive session of your container before that what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the image details 
regarding this particular instance which is Amazon Linux AMI the version number 2018.13 all these details are here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside my CentOS container so for that I have to run a command called as docker run hyphen it is the interactive session for CentOS so now you can see you get this unique ID okay and type ls so this is your CentOS operating system you can just check it by giving this command so now you can see I I am inside a CentOS machine okay and you can perform all the activities CentOS related activities inside the container you can launch up an application also now let's see I want to pause my container so I'm gonna open a duplicate session and I'm gonna type talker for send to us Uh, no such container let me just type docker ps so inside docker ps i have this better to give the container id because it is preferred to give the container id now if you come here and try to type anything it it won't take it up because you have paused your container I'll go back to the duplicate session and now I'll unpause it. So the moment you unpause it, you can see whatever uh, letters I have typed uh, at the time of its uh, posing. Uh, <clears throat> those it will be it will be taking those commands also. So this is how you pause and unpause your container. If you want to kill your container, you can run a command docker kill the container ID or the name, but ID is preferred. A docker rm is to remove the container and then docker history image name. Let me just go to docker history center will give all the history related to this particular um, image.